And this is uh, a new pedal that we have coming out called the Germanium Fuzz Pedal. So, you know, pretty much your standard Germanium Fuzz, but it has a bunch of things that kind of, uh, I think, set it apart. I designed the pedal in my trailer because it was early days of coronavirus and we weren't really sure if we could catch coronavirus from eating a, like a burrito. A bunch of my suppliers had been you know, not selling uh, us parts or threatening to not because they didn't know how long they'd be able to stay open. So um, there was just a ton of uncertainty. And so I basically furloughed almost everyone in my company and except for a couple people and just to, you know, stay distant. I set up like a workspace in this RV with a, a bunch of test equipment everywhere, guitar amps. I had like a Ox box, uh, just oscilloscopes and all sorts of stuff. The, the reason that I decided to do the germanium fuzz was the pressure was on to come up with a new pedal kind of quickly. Um, and I had already been thinking about this fuzz for for a very long time, you know, a fuzz that could, uh, that didn't really care about the temperature or the power that you fed it. Or the, uh, or the input that it received. It was just always consistent. You didn't really have to, to worry about all the weird idiosyncrasies with, uh, with germanium fuzzes. I kind of had been toying with the idea of an automatic thermal bias for, for a long time. But basically I wanted to try to make a germanium fuzz where the transistors were held at a constant temperature. I think a couple months before COVID hit, I was randomly looking at the schematic of a solid state thermostat for a house. And I realized that I could, it'd be pretty easy just to incorporate some of those ideas into that uh, that pursuit of, you know, regulating temperature. <laughs> uh, pretty obvious, but basically one of the problems people always have with germanium fuzzes and fuzzes in general is they don't take other puddles before them very well. Like they'll sound harsh or fizzy or do unexpected things. And I wanted to take that variable out because my whole goal is to get this thing to sound consistent. Essentially, at the beginning of the fuzz, you have a buffer and that feeds a uh, this little transformer and a couple other components in a passive guitar pickup simulator. So basically you've got a buffer that takes care of everything in front of it. And then the simulator kind of brings everything back to the uh, frequency response of the guitar pickup. But then I was thinking, well, that, you know, it kind of stinks that you can't roll your volume down and get like the weird weirdness from a low uh, impedance germanium fuzz because there's a buffer now and it's not loading the pickups down uh, in the same way. So what I did was I just made the volume knob after the pickup simulator on the pedal and that's the impedance knob. So when you turn the impedance, it's adding series resistance before the fuzz in, a, in the same way that, you know, the volume control on your, your guitar would do. You can get those rolled off kind of bright um, cleanup things happening without having to have the guitar run directly into the fuzz, which has been kind of the one with germanium fuzz all along.
I, I thought this was gonna be like a 500 milliamp pedal. I thought it was gonna to have to pull a ton of current in order to heat the transistors, so. But I actually got it down to below 100 milliamps, which I'm pretty pleased with. You can daisy chain it with uh, any other pedal if you're kind of in a one spot situation. My whole goal for this pedal was to make it work seamlessly in a modern environment that, you know, you could just throw it on a pedal board and not have to worry about all these crazy uh, caveats of of using a germanium fuzz that people have had to deal with since they were invented. What's your name and what's your relationship? <laughs> to Jimmy. My name is Nathan Jr. and I've been doing uh, demonstration videos and, and using uh, Benson amps and pedals since uh, pretty much the beginning of the, the company there. My name is Jessica Dobson. I play in a band called Deep Sea Diver. And I've known Chris Benson of Benson Amps for a long time. And I played, I think, one of your first Monarch prototypes when I first joined the Shins. I'm gonna demonstrate how this fuzz can actually yield a clean boost, which is a, a rare function to get an honest clean boost out of a fuzz pedal, but using the impedance knob, uh, which simulates rolling down the volume on your guitar, I can just kind of clean up the fuzz at will. And right now I'm running it all the way clean and it's just driving the front of my amp. And it'll sound like this. On a big E chord, this is just the amp. Put the fuzz clean boost. Big hard strum. Single note blues licks. Bends. So I'm gonna demonstrate the pedal with the gain all the way up and uh, what I really like about this pedal is how much dynamic range you put in there. So here's me playing pretty lightly, and you can really hear all the notes individually. And here's me digging in. Fuzz pedals don't like other pedals in front of them, and it kind of feels like you're hitting a brick wall. But what's sweet about this pedal is there's a full-time buffer, and it totally likes pedals in front of it. So I put your Benson preamp in front of it just to give it a, another boost. So here it is um, before the boost. <laughs> And 
here is it with boost. For this tone, I'm going for a sort of a transparent, dirty thing. So I've got the uh, impedance at about half. Um, gain is at 10 o'clock. And volume is just providing a slight boost. Um, and I'm in my bridge pickup and uh, get kind of a jangly pattern going for you. It kind of sounds like this. Mm -hmm. 